We're live. CCC Flavors. Hey, Silent Marshall. What's happening? <laughs> He's going bye-bye. But uh, we're about to start this review here in a minute. I figured I'd just jump in here early so that way it gives you guys time to tag and share and tell your friends. And uh, while we're doing that, I guess I'll <clears throat> well, you guys can see it on YouTube, too. So there's always YouTube. So candy pop, great flavor. Candy pop, strawberry watermelon. Candy, sweet mint gum. Candy, <laughs> Raspberry hard candy, blue raspberry hard candy, be specific, and candy peach gummies, like you know, gummy worms, peach gummy worms, or gummies. It says gummies, but we'll just go with gummy. Okay, so I've got some fresh cotton in my Sapor RDA, and I've got my Sigeli J150, ready to roll for delicious tasting. I've got some, uh, actually I've got right now when I'm vaping is the gold for, uh, by the Milk Man that I review I did yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and invite some friends, see if they're available. See if y'all is around. To share and tag your friends. All right. Oh, shoot. Invite and invite. Invite. And invite and invite. Do, 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 invite. I'm uh, clicking and inviting people so you can share and tag your friends for our vape review we're going to do today. All right. All right. I guess that'll work for now. I guess we'll wait for people to pop in, share with your friends. Um, we're going to start with the, the flavors we're going to start with. We're going to start with the grape, and then we're going to work our way down. Do, do, do. Until we get to the end of the line for this review. <clears throat> Pull it off my connector because it's already ready to go. Got fresh cotton in it. And I keep fresh cotton on deck. With some nice clean coils. So that we can get a good clean vapor view. Hi y'all. Turn it so y'all can see. Childproof because I can't get in it. Need a good shake. And this is the Great Chew Candy by Candy Pop. I'm a 
Heavy great. That is a heavy great. Of course, I can't get the uh, sweetness from the from the from the nose smell, but the grape is just like um, grape crush or grape Fanta. So here's the product again. Great candy pop. Great chew candy. Interesting. It's a very light grape flavor. It's not a heavy grape, and it's not super sweet. Then again, it's at 40 watts, because we're trying to see exactly, you know, how much flavor we can get in here without... Uh, going to a higher temperature. I like lower temperatures to taste the vapes. So, the lower temperatures to taste the vapes. So, I'm going to crank it up, though, see if that makes a difference between the low and the high settings. We popped it up to 60. This is a very light grape flavor. It's not a heavy grape. Um, hmm. I don't know what the mix is on this. I don't know if this is 70, 30, or, but it, it seems like it's thick. It's got a thickness to it. It's taste. It's heavy, great taste. Very heavy, great taste direct in the mouth. But the vape... Is a light gray when you vape it. It's not heavy, it's not sitting in my mouth. Coffee, clean my palate. It does taste better on a on a higher temp. On the 60, it tastes better on the 60 than it does on the 40. Yeah, the 40 is um a light, a very light, great taste with this product. Clear it out. All right. And this is the Candy Pop Grape Chew Candy. The next one is Strawberry Watermelon Candy Pop. These are 100 mils. I'm going to pull the cotton out. So you guys can see what I'm doing. No, I'm not the only one. Say you love me, yeah. Say you love me, yeah. No, I'm not the only one. Thank you. 
Okay. Clean, clean, clean. Two tips. Fire, clean coil up, re residual. Cotton. Fast to the sky. All I do is ride in the air. There we go. All right, here's one. And here's the other one. I appreciate y'all popping in and saying, hey. Hey, Donna. Hey, Anna. Hey, Wendy. Share the video with your vape friends. People you know. People you don't know. Vape groups. All right. So here's where we're at with this. Oh, yeah. Look, there is a full tab on these packages, which makes opening them much easier. And I just held it above the camera, thinking that it was showing me, but it wasn't. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Bam. These are 100 mil Gorilla Bottles. The tips on them come to a nice sharp point, which I like. Makes applying directly to my coil easier to saturate my cotton. Oh, the watermelon just popped my senses. I ain't even fired it yet. Okay. Let's do a little taste on here. Oh, wow. That tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what this tastes like. Direct in the mouth. Uh, smell the strawberry though when I fire it. That was interesting. Yeah. See how this rolls out. That's interesting. The watermelon is like bang, but I got this um, almost uh, soapy aftertaste. That's probably the strawberry. Let me clean my palate real quick. Man, I still got some of that residual grape. Uh, again, it's a light, it's not a heavy flavor. It's a light watermelon flavor. Like on the watermelon. <clears throat> it's not strong like a watermelon Jolly Rancher on the vape side. Uh, it's just not. Let me turn this up so y'all can see me. It's definitely not heavy on the watermelon side when you vape it through the vape. Um, the taste is there. All day you taste the watermelon and slight strawberry smell when you fire it um, but for our candy I really was expecting like a super bang out candy like a super sweetness to it which I'm not getting a super sweetness to this like um, uh, the other product normally when I get a sweetness I can taste it on my lips like Makes me want to lick my lips, and I'm not getting that with this vape. Shh. 
But the aroma coming off of it is pleasant. It's very pleasant. The taste is very mild, though. And uh, I think this is one that I personally I could probably get tired of pretty quick. The candy, this uh, strawberry watermelon. I could get tired of this one. Because I was, I really like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have something, I'm gonna want it to vape and be an all day vape for me. I like that flavor to be like just steady, you know, like a steady, smooth uh, vape. But this is, uh, <clears throat> it's it's steady, but it's not at the taste level that I'm looking for. It's not super bang out, so there's there's no real pop to it. It doesn't taste like soda or coke either but I don't know there's something missing from the pop in this it's there though it's got the watermelon you know it's got the watermelon flavor and it's got a slight strawberry smell but I'm not tasting the strawberry so that's where we're at with the grape and the strawberry I'm gonna pull through the coil here and go ahead and vape the rest of it and then clean it Has anybody else out there tried Candy Pop? If you have, message me, PM me. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of my view with the rest of these, of course. The next one up is going to be the sweet. Actually, you know what? I'll save the sweet mint gum for last. Because I might really like that one. Um, we'll do you know what? We'll do the peach gummies next. We'll do the peach gummies next. I got a feeling that's going to be super sweet. Uh, I mean, going by the taste of peach, normally peach is really sweet. And with a name like gummy, you know. Um, <clears throat> but the flavor is so light on these that the VG slash PG mix stands out almost as much as the flavoring itself. So it's almost got like a... Um, I don't want to say perfumey, but if somebody walked by with watermelon perfume and you were to like have that like taste in your mouth, that's shoot, that's what it is. That's that's as close as I can as I can tell you um, to the flavor of it. It's almost perfumey because it's light, not heavy at all. There's no real. Eh. I hate to say that. I don't like giving bad reviews, but I got to tell y'all what it is. It's not heavy on the flavor side. It's really not. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and pull the cotton on this. Come on, cotton. Pull on my cotton so y'all can see. Pull it out. Get out of there, cotton. Bam. Okay, now take the Q-tip, clean, 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 make sure my reservoir is nice and dry, and then fire the coils, burn off the residual, see, now I got some cherry coils, no more vape juice left on them. Blow them, give them a give a little cooling before I stick the cotton in because I don't want to fire the cotton on accident. <laughs> hey Amy, how you doing? Now, bam. All right, I pull the cotton through. Get your whole little cotton. Fluffing the cotton, getting it in the reservoir so we can soak up the juice. Okay. Get the other little cotton. Get it in its little hole. And when I'm done with the uh, sampling of the products today, I'll give an overall review like I usually do. <clears throat> Unless you guys know what I think about the product as a whole, the product line as a whole. 
um, which normally I just tell you guys each product as I go, but <clears throat> I'm going to be a little more transparent with this. So <clears throat> as I tried to show you earlier when I held it off the screen, it's perforated so there's like a little pull strip that helps you open the package to get into the deliciousness, which is super awesome. And the chopper, so you got to push down and twist, of course, as most Gorilla models are. All right, saturating the coils and letting it soak into the cotton in a second. And give it a quick fire, a little tap, and it helps the uh, pull the cotton, pull pull the juice into the cotton when I fire. Doing that. Okay, give it a little more juice. A little more juice. And this is the peach gummies. Heavy peach. Wow, that's a lot of peach. <clears throat> that's a lot of peach right there. Smells like a lot of peach. So far, their smell when they vape is, is pretty strong. The taste in the mouth is pretty strong. Now let's put it through the vape and taste it this way and see what it tastes like. Taste the peach. Peach almost, um, wow. Peach almost apricot. And there's that weird background taste again. I don't know if that's the PG or VG that they used. Um, so far, all three of these had this, like, I'm just going to call it a weird background taste. It's uh, where this, the vape flavor is subtle in comparison to the PG, VG taste. And people who... Um, vape a lot like me and vape a lot of top shelf you know normally you don't taste the PGVG the flavor stands out but in this case the PGVG standing out um, and, I, and I do like you know when I'm not vaping flavors I just throw regular VG in my mind and I vape VG you know and I'll flavor it myself if I want a little flavor to it or I'll mix it with something else just to do some heavy cloud you know but uh that's what this almost tastes like. Like there's a lot of VG in it, and uh, not a lot of flavoring. The flavoring is uh, very light with these products. When with the hit, but the taste—that's what's got my mind blown. The taste, like when I tasted it, should have been just like an all-out just annihilation to my taste buds, vape-wise. So that's what's got me really confused about the product line so far. But the peach flavor is there. Just like the watermelon was there. Strawberries was an after note. And the grape was definitely there too. They're not heavy. They're not heavy on the uh, on the on the fruit side, but they're definitely definitely peach. There's no doubt about that. I'm not getting the gummies though. I mean gummy when you say gum when I hear gummy, I think sugary, you know? Like the one line that I tried, um, the um, the one hit wonder line, that was sugary. That was candy vape. You know, and this is, uh, to me, that's what candy vape is, super sugary. And I'm not getting the super sugar so far. Uh, I'm just not. But the fruit flavor, I mean, like pure fruit flavor is definitely there. It's just not heavy. It's just there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check my coils real quick, see if I got, I got plenty of juice in my well and in my cotton. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crank it up to 60 and then hit it. 60 is PG. I'm tasting PG. I'm wondering if this is a 50-50 blend instead of a 70-30 blend at this point. Because I'm tasting the PG big time with this. Yeah, I'm tasting the PG. Which normally PG is a flavor booster. Um, but in this case, it's just straight, just peach, just 
mellow peach. I like it. I do like the peach though. This is something you could definitely the peach so far is my favorite out of everything so far. This this peach is definitely my favorite. So Captain Peach. Captain Peach. Oh yeah. I'm looking for that sweetness though. I'm looking at my lips, looking for that candy still. I'm not just I'm just not getting it. <clears throat> Coffee. Clean your palate. I'm gonna hit it again before I pull my cotton since I just cleansed my mouth. Let me see. Hit it at 60 again. No, it's the same. Yeah, that PG is uh definitely definitely got a flavor to it in here. All right, pull that cotton. I'll turn it down so y'all can see what I'm doing here. So I'm pull one and then we'll pull the other. Come on. And then and then and then. Come on, cotton. My cotton's oily and slippery as so it should be when it has been doused in oil juice hey all right q-tip clean the well get all the juice out of the well Because we want a we want a fair and juicy and clean surface here, so that way our non-juicy surface. And then we'll go ahead and give the coils a fire, and get all the residual off. There we go. This should be cherry. Yep. Coils are cherried. And ready for cotton. We'll cap the peach, put it to the side. <clears throat> and as always, with the flavors, I will put together some smaller bottles of these flavors. And uh, if you come in the store and you make a purchase, we will throw these flavors to you as a thank you for purchasing from us. It doesn't matter what you purchase. And then you can try these juices yourself and uh, let us know what you think. You know, because I can't just have just my opinion on everything. You know, I like the I like y'all's opinion too. Okay, so people who know me know I care, and your opinion matters. Okay, let's put that in there. Pull it, spin it under the fluffiness. Fold it, fold it. Hmm. Next is raspberry, uh, blue raspberry hard candy. So we can cover some of the light on that. It's kind of hard to do. The light's like, like crap. Blue raspberry candy pop. All right. Let's go ahead and find the strip on there there it is get that little tab thing out grab it cool that part about the packaging is super cool it's very easy to get into 100 mil bottle push and twist and I'll pop that top loose <clears throat> all right let's get some juice in here It's a uh, light on the raspberry. <clears throat> the flavoring is light on the raspberry on this one. This ought to be interesting. Now you get the juice in in the coil and the cotton. Give it a little tap. Get the cotton to soak up that juice. 
my coils and cotton good and primed. Keep it going. Hmm. <clears throat> raspberry. Raspberry's got that uh, that sour smell, like the raspberry sour smell. I like that. I'm just firing my mod close to my face, not wearing my safety glasses. Because safety is not my number one priority. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor is. All right. Raspberry, they're nail. I mean, the flavors they're nailing it on the flavor profile. I mean, it's definitely, definitely grape, definitely watermelon, definitely peach, definitely raspberry. It's just kind of strange though. Like there is a sweetness to the juice in the mouth, but it's not an overpowering sweetness. You just know that it's a that it's a sweet vape. I don't, I don't really know any other way to explain it, but it doesn't make me want to lick my lips and go looking around my mouth for more sweetness. When I exhale, the sweetness is gone. So let's get some more coffee, clean my palate again. And I've still got the mod on 60. I haven't lowered it to 40, which I'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> I'll do that right now and then try it at 40. Check the taste profile there, and then we'll go back up to 60. 40. Wow. At 40, I'm barely even getting, I'm barely even getting the uh, raspberry on this. It's there, but I'm, <clears throat> it's not heavy. It's just there. Um, this would be, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really blowing huge clouds either. I'm, I can't really say it's cloud, but the PG is, you can taste the PG in these, big time taste the PG in these products. Raspberry, hard. Candy is a sweet raspberry on the inhale and the exhale, but not the aftertaste. There is no aftertaste. None. <laughs> Except for like when I pull too hard and get juice in my mouth. Then there's the aftertaste because I've got the juice in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I put the juice right in my mouth. <laughs> Raspberry beret. Can you find in a second hand store? My music just died on me. What in the world? I know I had music going. What the hell happened it? I'll turn it down. Hey Derek, how you doing? <clears throat> yep, so we're looking at 40 watts. Flavor almost just non-existent at 40 watts. Let's pump it back up to 60. In fact, you know what? I'm going to crank it up higher than 60. Let's go put it on 70. Just curious. Higher temp. Hot. You can taste the heat from it. It's heating. Which is odd because <clears throat> it's got to be the PG levels in here. Because normally when you vape VG or heavy VG products or just in general and you hit it, you get a cool hit. I normally get cool hits with my with products that I try. 
So it's kind of unusual that I'm getting a hot hit from it. Like yesterday when I did the Heritage, it was almost cool. I mean, well, it wasn't almost. It was cool coming out when I exhaled. And this at 70 is going in hot and coming out hot. We'll turn that down. Turn that back there. Let's see if we can find a sweet spot. Let's go 50 and let's stop 55. Juice. <clears throat> Let's see. 55 is a good sweet spot. 55 and 60. Yeah. Yep, I'm actually going to pop it down to 55 and keep it at 55. Still don't have that sweetness. Looking for it. All right. Last of the candy pop line is the mint or sweet mint gum. So I'm expecting, I mean, just off top right away, I'm going to be looking flavor wise for like that, you know, that delicious gum flavor when you. Snatch open a pack of bubble gum. Mint gum. Like Orbit or, you know, Wrigley's or <clears throat> some kind of mint gum. Some kind of peppermint, spearmint, mint <clears throat> kind of flavor. Get it well cleaned up. Okay. Fire. Get the residual off the coil. We got some cherry on one side. All right. Trying to cool the clothes a little bit. There we go. Clean cherry coils ready for cutting. All right. Hey, fluffy ends. All right. Tuck, tuck. I am a cotton surgeon. <laughs> And I'm going to nip and cut and twist and make it beautiful. Okay, come on, cotton. There we go. Now we're in there. Now we're vaping with heat. Okay, fluff the cotton edges. Grab it and fold it into the rest. Curl reservoir. All right. Now, let's get into the the uh, sweet mint gum. Clicky, 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 ticky. Boop. Bye, y'all. Shaky, 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 shaky. All right. Now this is a hold up moment. <clears throat> hold up. Wait a minute. This has my mouth like I just put a piece of gum in it. Like I just took uh, uh, that. They nailed it on that. Sweet mint gum. You took sweet mint gum, <clears throat> fold up, put a piece in your mouth. 
my mouth has that coolness in it right now. My tongue is cold. Like when you chew a good experiment gum. This is going to be really interesting. All right, so let's let's get this coil going because now I'm excited because that tasted just, yeah, that was just super, wow, for sure. Right, if this vapes the way it tastes, oh, hell yeah. It smells just like it. It smells the way it tastes. Oh! Bang diggity. I'm glad I saved this one for last. This is a cool mint. This is a very, very good thing. This flavor is definitely on point. And it's at 55 watts. This is my favorite, hands down. This is my favorite. Cool mint. That is just, my whole mouth is, has got that coolness right now, like I'm chewing a piece of Cool Mint bubble gum. Seriously, they nailed it on this one. <clears throat> this is a huge one. Hey. Oh, that's... That is good. This candy pop. Yes. Mint gum. Sweet mint gum. Man, they nailed that. Bring me alarm. Tell your friends. This right here. And we're going to have samples of all these products that I tried today. Because you can't just take my opinion for it, you know. Come to the shop, check it out, share with your friends, go online, find the product, buy it, try it, tag me in the review, put it into the comments, let me know what you think. I'm really easy to get along with, and if you don't agree with me, that's okay. I'm not going to feel any kind of way about it because you're entitled to your opinion the same way I'm entitled to mine, right? But, peach, it's a smooth peach, candy is not residual, doesn't sit in your mouth. It's gone after you're done with your, your cloud. Same thing with the raspberry. Same thing with the watermelon. Same thing with the grape. The flavors are light and smooth. And I taste PG in the peach, the grape, and the watermelon. I didn't taste it as much in the raspberry was not as strong as the raspberry. This, the sweet mint gum, did not have that back after PG flavor. And it could just be because of the ice in it. Um, but the mint flavor and the gum, the way that it mixes, or the way that they've mixed it and they've made this creation, is exactly what it says in the bottle. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. So this is my favorite out of the whole bunch. But you guys try the other flavors and let me know what you think. Of course, I'll post this video to Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and that way people can, you know, chime in and let me know if there's other products that they like or want me to try to review. And uh, if you're a manufacturer of e-juices and uh, you want us to do a review of your product, consider shoving it in our stores, hey, hit me up. PM me. Get at me. I love, uh, I love vaping, and uh, I like di trying different flavors. I'm a flavor chaser, you know. And but when I <clears throat> when I try something and I you know I'm just straight up this is pop I expect pop you know like boop I expect that this did it out of the whole line this definitely did it the others were smooth they were just smooth vape you know maybe could have been 
classic pop. Movie. But as always, CCC Flavors, doing our little review. Get at us, cccflavors.com, we're in Dalton, Georgia. And um, we have many different types of products. And if we don't carry in our carry a juice line on our website or our catalog, excuse me, um, for our company, then you can use one of the other links we have on our website to shop with the other vendors and providers of e-juice and see what they have available. And uh, also for tanks, mods, coils, and whatnot, and pretty good prices. And if you uh, shop through Vapor DNA, you can use the Vapor DNA code through our website to get a slight discount. Yep. So CCC flavors. We're going to have to wrap it up, keep it cloudy, peace, love, chill, spread good vibes, you know, show some love, people, and uh, keep it cloudy, and happy vaping. CC Flavors, out. Peace.